very good morning dear students welcome back to today's class today's class in botany chapter 1 asexual and sexual reproduction in plants we are going to continue the important subtitle pollination and its types how pollination is very important what's mean by pollination what are the types of pollination we are going to continue let us start pollination pollination is a wonderful mechanism which provides food shelter for the pollinating elements we know that many plants are pollinated by a particular animal species and also the flowers are modified accordingly so between the existence of a co evolution between plants and animals pollination is effective dear students just imagine if pollination fails in plants what will happen is it possible to produce fruits seeds in plants no if there is no pollination there is no fruit and seed formation if not the pollination occurs the entire world will be suffer if pollination fails there is no seed there is no fruit formation and also the pollinating organism which depend plants and pollens for its food will be affected so pollination will happen only if reach a suitable sigmatic surface the mechanism should be needed to reach the pollen to stigma as you have aware pollen grains produced in the anther will germinate only when they reach the stigma of the pistil the reproductive organs such as stamen and pistil of the flower are spatially separated so there is a mechanism which is very much essential for transferring pollen grains from anther to reach the stigma is needed hence we can define the process of transferring pollen grains from anther to stigma of a flower is called pollination so anther which produce a pollen grain the transfer to the stigma of a flower is said to be that pollination the event of pollination is the characteristic feature of seed producing plants called as spermatophytes dear students gymnosperm and angiosperms are spermatophytes where the pollination is the characteristic feature remember pollination which takes place in gymnosperm is said to be the direct pollination because the pollens are deposit directly on the exposed to ovules because gymnosperms are naked ovule plants whereas in the angiosperm angiosperm is close to seed producing plants where the pollination is indirect the pollen grains are deposited to the stigma of the pistil
in majority of the angiosperms flask opens and expose its mature anther and stigma for pollination such cases the flowers are collectively called as cosmogamous flowers do you remember flowers open well and expose anthers and stigma for the pollination whereas the cleistogamous flowers the pollination occurs without opening and exposing the sex organs so pollination occurs without opening of the flowers and exposing the anther and the stigma of the flower are called as cleistogamous flowers the phenomena of pollination which takes place in the closed flowers called cleistogamy now come to the types of pollination based upon the flower on which the pollen of a flower reach based upon the flower on which pollen of a flower reaches the pollination is classified into two types one is said to be that self pollination it is also called autogamy gamy means union or marriage so there are two kinds of pollination namely self pollination or cross pollination cross pollination also called allogamy let us start self pollination in this picture you are seeing a plant called a cosmogamous flower the flowers are open in condition b picture where the flowers are closed in condition which is underground okay so in this plant flowering in which opening of flower and closing of flower which makes the pollination is different type cleistogamous flowers in which flowers are remain closed not exposing their sex organs for pollination cosmogamous flowers in which flowers are opens and exposes its mature sex organs let us start types of pollination self pollination or autogamy cross pollination or allogamy are the two types of pollination let us start self pollination you are seeing a flower which is pollinated by pollen grains of the anther pollen grains of the anther which falls on the stigma of the same flower most of the botanist they define that transfer of pollen grains on the stigma of the same flower is called as self pollination or autogamy so from the mature and the pollen grains which are transferred to the stigma of the same flower is called as self pollination or autogamy you are seeing the self pollination in the flower of legumes self pollination is possible only the plants which are producing bisexual flowers in order to promote self pollination in the flowers of plants several adaptations or mechanisms are seen the first one cleistogamy from the greek word it was derived cleisto means closed kamas means marriage in this cleistogamy flowers never open and expose their reproductive organs thus the pollination which it carried out within the closed flower so you are seeing the plant called uh, viola viola plant a viola plant in which a cosmogamous flower above the ground cleistogamous flower which is the underground
the histogamy flask, Kamanilia, Viola, Oxalis are some of the best examples. In Kamalia bengaliensis, there are two types of uh, flowers are produced. One are aerial flowers, another one is underground flower. Aerial flowers are brightly colored cosmogamous and pollinated by insects. Whereas the underground flowers are brown, subterranean. Subter means below the soil. The branches of the rhizome that are dull. Cleistogamous or self-pollinated flowers are not depend any pollinators for pollination. So Camellia bengalensis in which two types of flower, one is called Cleistogamous, another one is called Cosmogamous. Cleistogamous flowers are generally they are underground the underground flowers are not that much of colorful the second one homogamy the adaptations in which is the second one homogamy when the stamens and the stigma of a flower mature at the same time is said to be then homogamy homo similis homo similar gamus marriage Sex organs of the flower, stamens, and the pistil, both of them are mature at the same time in a flower. The left side picture you can see Catharanthus roseus belong to the family Apocynaceae, another one is called Mirabilis jalapa in the right side. Both these flowers, stamens and stigma, mature at the same time. So, this favors self pollination in these two plants next is incomplete dichogamy catharanthus roses you are seeing very closer incomplete dichogamy in dichogamous flowers stamens and stigma mature at different time stamen and stigma of a flower mature at different time sometimes the time of maturation of these essential organs overlap so it becomes favorable for self pollination generally dichogamous flowers in which maturation of stigma and stamen in different time which overlap on one another so more or less same time they get mature so the pollination is that is self pollination is possible dear student up to this video you might have understood what is mean by pollination. What are the two kinds of flowers such as Cosmogamous flower and Cleistogamous flower. And the types of pollination in which cell pollination we discuss. In the next class we will continue cross pollination. Thank you.